Let's see, I can get into it. Step back. Okay, whatever. We're gonna figure that out. One of them gonna be cute. <laughs> but I'm here to do a review on Ellie Mai's hair, which is the unit that I'm wearing right now with this look right here. So you guys already know. Before I continue, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I am trying to reach 60k, and I will be doing a money giveaway. But if you would like to see how I achieved this look, I will show you how I bleached the knots, um, how I watercolor this jet black, how I watercolor um, a glaze, a crystal clear glaze that I use. Um, I will show you how I cut my baby hairs and all of that as well. So if you would like to see all of that in detail, stay tuned. Oh, wait, this one might be the thumbnail right here. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing of this Ellie Mice hair. And this is a very nice box. It says High Life Luxury Hair. And it is definitely giving luxury with this box, honey. I like this. Ellie Mice Luxury Hair. Ooh. And then when you take it out, the box is nice still. Y'all giving me my life, Ellie Mice. I like this. So I just know y'all guys have some good goodies up in this mug. Let me see. It's looking like. Oh, let's see. Okay, here's the wig. And there's some um, how to wash your hair instructions. And then there are two brown wig caps. Now, this wig we are going to get into today is a 13 by 4 bob water wave wig it is in a natural color of course which you guys know the natural color is always um like one b or one so either like the darkest brown or a light black kind of that you know so like i did say it is a 13 by 4 frontal Y'all know the routine. My nails are going to get caught on the neck as usual. <laughs> That's just how this goes. You guys have been watching me for a while now, so you know. But yeah, it is a 13 by 4 bob wig. It is 14 inches. It is in the texture water wave. I have not had a short bob water wave wig in a minute. Um, I think I had one like a year ago or something, but it was not from a good company. So it started getting bald in the front too fast and it really blew. But you guys, it does have the combs in it. It does have the adjustable straps in the back. Y'all know I don't really use these combs that be all through there. I don't know. I don't even get why they're there like that. Blows me. Does have baby hairs already, as you can see. Um... It really looks like I'm, hmm, should I bleach the knots or should I just give the girls makeup? It is already pre-plucked, but of course I will be doing a little bit of additional plucking. Um, I also will probably be coloring this jet black and I will be using the watercolor method. Well, I don't know, this actually is dark. I don't know, y'all, sometimes it'd be like too light brown for me, but this one is looking actually pretty dark, so... Let's go ahead and start plucking then, you guys. Okay, you guys, so I will be coloring the hair jet black. It was not dark enough for me once I got into the natural light. I will be doing the watercolor method again, so I'm just rinsing out my dab bowl. Y'all know that I specifically use this bowl for that. Gonna fill it up with some hot water. 
I don't need to fill it up too much because it's only a 14 inch wig. I will be using Adore Jet Black today. For this, I've been letting my water run for a while. Like I told you guys, I don't really like to, ooh, hold on. Hold on there. Almost had a mishap, almost fell into the water. Like I told you guys, I don't like to boil the water because it get, I felt like I was yelling. I don't like to boil the water because it can get too hot and damage the hair. So you're just gonna squirt the dye right on in there. I really should have just took the top off because I'm gonna use the whole bottle. So that would have been easier, but whatever. But you wanna get the water as hot as possible without boiling it, basically. That is when it works the best. You hear me? You hear me, baby? So yeah, I think that's about all of it. Okay, there we go. I was trying to do too much, trying to squeeze every little drip drop. So, I really like to use a door, um, just because I noticed that it melts better in the water. It's very easy to go ahead and blend it. Some of the other um, rinses are a little bit thicker and it takes a while to get them to melt into the warm slash hot water. Y'all see how this water just instantly turned jet black like that? Yeah, it melts it right on in there. Okay. So now I have my wig. And like I told you guys, watercolor easy is, I mean, watercolor easy. Watercolor method is just so easy. Because you're literally just dunking. And I'm going to show you guys the ends versus the top. You can already see the darkness busting through there. So, yeah. Just dunk it in and out. In and out, in, in and out. And y'all, I don't have to worry about protecting the lace because I'm gonna bleach my knots after I do this anyways. So I'm just dunking this whole thing all through here, opening it up so I can make sure it's getting all on the inside. Not like on the inside of the wig, but like the inside of the hair. Cause y'all wanna start parting the wig once you're done and noticing that the middle of the wig is not dark like the rest of the hair so you see i'm just spinning it around maneuvering it just making sure i'm touching every part of the wig just making sure that you can see it's getting nice and dark, like I like it. So now what I'm gonna do is let it sit for like, I don't know, three to five minutes, and then I will rinse. Now, as you can see, it is nice and dark. Like I like it. I did rinse this with cold water because you don't wanna rinse all the color out. As you can see, the knots are in pretty good standing but i'm still going to bleach them right now and then i have one more step i'm going to do after i bleach it that i'm going to show you guys but first let's go ahead and bleach these knots okay same routine as usual with the bleach you want it to be very thick see how i have to like oh, yeah you need it very very thick so it's not just running through the lace when you put it on there Remember, you're not applying pressure. You're not trying to press it into the lace. You literally just setting it right on top because, you know, I just added jet black. So, you know, I don't want for it to be, you know, running straight through the lace and then it blind when I just dad it black. So I'm literally not applying any pressure at all. I'm just literally setting the bleach on top of the lace and you want to do this all around the entire frontal some people like to do it where they're going to do their parting only but i don't know where i'm going to do my part at so guess what we're going to do the whole frontal and plus i just don't like it to be limited to only where i set it to because what if i'm out and i decide oh i don't want a middle part no more the girl wants a side part now and I want to just flip it over. 
So, yep. Not applying any pressure at all. And I'm making sure to take it a little bit past the hairline because I don't want the knots by my baby hairs to not be bleached. Because y'all know I love me some baby hairs. So, that's a very important area of lace for me. <laughs> and you want to just repeat this all across the whole entire frontal. Okay, once you have the full circumference of the frontal covered, you don't see any black knots peeking through, you want to leave this sitting on. I do five to seven minutes at first and then I check to see what it's looking like. Keep in mind though, I am using only 20 volume developer. If you use something stronger like the 30 and 40, you may need to rinse it right out, you know what I'm saying? Cause it'll start changing fast. So you just wanna watch it. So I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes, let it penetrate in there and then I'll bust right back. Okay, so as you can see, the knots are bleached. Um, I did go in off camera and wash it with the purple um, Violet Crush John Frieda shampoo, just um, to take some of the yellowness out and it looks more like the brownness, like of my real scalp. This step right here is optional. Um, sometimes some of the baby hairs may get a little bit of the bleach on it. So I just literally take like the tiniest bit of that. You guys, like literally the tiniest bit. And I just go in and tap the places that I feel like need to be a little bit tapped. Like this is how much I have on my brush, like the littlest, slightest bit. And I just like may tap a little bit along the hairline, making sure I'm not getting any on the lace because baby, that would defeat all the work I just did not applying any pressure at all. I'm literally just tapping across the pieces that I see look a little light skin. And you don't even have to leave this on long because once dark dad touches light like a bond, oh, it's dad already, baby. Ain't no going back. So, cause you guys, I like my hair really, really dark, like, like gothic kind of dark. <laughs> so, yeah, just tap, tap, tapping. And once I feel like I touched all the blind areas, I go ahead and I rinse it. Now this step here is optional. I'm gonna stop with phone. But I do like to go in with a crystal clear rinse. This is crystal clear by Adore and it's no color to it. It's just literally clear. Sometimes I do the watercolor method way since this wig is short. Oh, wait, I didn't even take the, the seal off. But since this wig is short, um, I'm gonna just put it directly on it. But basically it's like a clear coating and it's gonna make it just look way more shiny and just beautiful. This is, like I said, this is optional. I'm just extra like this. When I do super dark hair, that shine just hit different. Like that shine makes such a difference in my opinion. So I'm gonna just cover the whole entire wig in this nice clear glaze. And I will leave it on for about 10 minutes or however long I feel, but probably about 10 minutes and then rinse it out. And once I rinse it, it will be time to start plucking. But you guys, I'm not gonna lie, this hairline looks good. So I will be doing very minimal plucking, but yeah, I've coated majority of the wig. Just add a little more. And then I will come back on for the plucking time. And I'm not gonna condition it right now because since this is a water wave unit, I will be doing like, you know, a wet look. And usually when I do like water wave or deep wave, 
for the wet look, I like to um I like to use conditioner mixed with water. So since I'm already gonna be adding conditioner on that final step, I'm not gonna like deep conditioner right now. But I am going to let this clear glaze sit on here. And you guys, other uh brands of rinses do make the clear dye, so you don't necessarily have to use the adore one. But when I went to the beauty supply to get my black dye and the pink dye that I used on my previous install. They only had a door at that particular store. So that's the brand. But I do love a door though, y'all. So yeah, let's let her sit and rest. Okay, sis got her knots bleached. She got the clear glaze put on there. This the roots is looking good, baby. So um, like I said, this is a pre plus hairline, but y'all know me. The girl always going in to do some additional pluck. Y'all know. Same routine as usual. Part. Take that little part, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to start right on the hairline with the plucking, babies. Y'all already know how I get down with that. Same routine as usual. On your natural hairline where it's fuller, leave it fuller. On your natural hairline where it's thinner, make it thinner. I don't know if I'm doing the side part, middle part, what. So I'm just going to pluck it until I feel like I've plucked enough and it looks like natural how I want it to look. Like I always tell you guys, do not start directly on the edge of the lace. You will have your baby hairs looking bald head as a mug. And that's not cute. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not giving that. You know, it's not giving bald head, small head vibes. It's giving. Ooh, her wig is late as what? You feel me? But yeah, this was already very natural looking, but I just be wanting it to look like it's coming on my scalp. So I'm just plucking. And like I always tell y'all, there's not really a certain amount of time I spend on plucking. It really just depends. I just do it until I feel like it's giving what I want it to give. Some people like it a little thicker. Some people like it a little thinner. You just pluck until you feel like it's plucked to how you want it. So I'm just going to repeat this all across the perimeter. And then I'm gonna let it dry, but like I always tell y'all, I do not dry it with a dryer. I don't really like adding too much extra heat to my wigs when it's not necessary. So I am gonna set it in front of the fan for about 20 minutes or however long it takes the lace to dry because the hair doesn't actually have to dry just the lace for me to install it because this will be a wet look. So it really doesn't matter if the hair is dry. So. Like I said, just continuing this around the perimeter until it looks as natural as I want it to look. And then it'll be time to dry her. Okay, final results after plucking. Yeah, that's more like it. I plucked for, I want to say about five minutes. This is about as much hair as I plucked out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get this lace dry so I can glue it on. I will be doing an actual glue on install so I can wear this wig for the weekend. Um, I'm gonna be using Boho Active, so yeah. Okay, now it is time for the install. Um, like I told you guys in one of my previous videos, I really like to do my makeup after if I'm doing a full frontal with a lot of baby hairs, just because, um, why well, I sound kind of congested or something? Just because, oh, and my chest was looking a little sleepy. Just because um, when I start working with the mousse, it can kind of mess up my foundation. Don't like all that. But anyways, I have already cleaned my perimeter with alcohol. Right now, I am going to be, of course, using a scalp protector. You guys know I do not like to do an install without, where's the little piece of hair? There we go. Y'all know I do not like doing an install without scalp protectant, so I will be adding that all across. Ooh, ooh, got a little leaky. Hold on. It ain't never, it ain't never came out like that before. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna do it all around, even up into there where some glue may seep. Cause I had got a little bump right in my hairline last time, like right up in here where I guess a little bit of the glue or maybe even the hairspray seeped up in there. So I'm not taking any chances. Again, I'm gonna overly protect this time, okay? So while the skin protecting is drying, and also, y'all, besides protecting your skin, y'all, if you're a person that sweat a lot, this can help your wig stay through the sweat. I'll just add a little bit more. The places that I mostly notice that my skin gets irritated is right on the ear tabs and then right here in the top. So I'm making sure I'm extra adding them. So you want to let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace on this wig. I don't think I need to show y'all that because y'all know the routine. Don't cut in a straight line. Don't cut straight across or you're going to be looking like Teen Wolf. I mean, if that's the look you're going for, sister, then by all means, give Teen Wolf. But that don't be the look I'm ever going for. So, yeah. Um, oh. Zigzag. Yeah, so I'm cutting in a zigzag as usual. I still am not a thousand percent sure how I want to style this wig just yet. I feel like I've been doing so many installs. I'm like running out of ideas of what I want to do. But once I get it on and get the baby hairs going, then I know I'm going to start feeling myself and be coming up with ideas or whatever. I already added a little bit of foundation to the inside of the lace. Um, not a lot. I just took whatever leftover foundation was still on my brush from me doing my makeup yesterday. I don't ever really add too much just because I, you know, I'm going to be adding glue to try to attach it to my head. So I don't really want much counteracting with the glue and messing with the longevity of my install because I'm doing a for real install today. Not my little quick little hairspray install for when I know I want to change my hair real fast. Like, you know, the very next day type of thing. So this is supposed to last me the whole weekend. So I have my lace cut. It's very raggedy looking how it's supposed to be. And now I'm going to. Oh, and I have put the adjustable straps to the tightest they could go. I always like okay, to do now that. that I have it positioned on my head how it needs to be. I've cleaned the area. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've added skin protectants. Um, now I'm going to go in with Boho. I'm going to go in with Boho Active around the whole perimeter. And get to land a slim as can we. Um, oh, I just... Or they glue all on myself trying to shake it up like that maybe that but um sometimes i mark it with um an eyeliner so like where i'm gonna place it but i kind of could see like kind of could see where i need to put it and i could feel like the tackiness of the um skin protecting too that kind of tells me where I need to put it. It may look like I'm putting it very far down on my forehead, but y'all, sometimes I need to have this, this cranium. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Make that forehead look small. So since I want this to last me all weekend, or at least today and tomorrow, because I'll probably do a whole nother install Sunday. But because I want this to last me for two days, I'm going to do two layers. If I wanted this to last me for like a week or something, I would do three layers. Or if I felt like I was like finna do a performance or something where I would be sweating a lot, I would do three layers. But I only want this to last me for like two days. So I'm going to just do two layers. Smooth it out. Smooth it, smooth it on out, you know what I'm saying? Because 
I'm filming this install today and I'm also filming another video today and then tomorrow I have somewhere to go and I would also like to film another video tomorrow so the girl is working you feel me so now I'm gonna take the blow dryer on a cool setting and just try to get it a little bit dry or just dry it a little faster and you know get it to where it's clear because you don't want to place the lace until it turns clear or else <laughs> your wig is going to be looking crusty I'm trying to tell you <laughs> you see how it's starting to disappear so now when it gets to that almost clear point that's when i go in with the hairspray you can use whatever hairspray you want to y'all know i love the l'oreal lock it then go in one more time Now, you're not trying to get it completely dry before you do this or else it's not going to stay. So now, it's time for the placement. And you want to get your placement right because baby boho, huh, it don't play. It's really a boho. You guys know I always tell y'all when you're melting it in, Use a comb or something that is not your finger because the oil from your skin will start to turn it white. So I'm just pressing in that glue without using my finger. And then I'm going to go back in again with the blow dryer. Continue this around the rest of the head. Around the rest of the head. Now this I actually might mark because this is a little bit, this lace for the ear flat part is a little bit shorter than what I'm used to working with. So I'm going to mark it so I don't put too much glue where it doesn't need to be. And so... Into that uh, yeah. Okay. Kill G. <laughs> Kill G. Okay. Why well, I just gotta always act crazy. Okay. So just do the same thing. Doing a thin layer. You don't want that first layer to be too thick because you know, like I told you, we trying to do a whole second layer. So it can last us. But if you make that first layer too thick, it's not going to dry clear. And we don't want that, baby. We don't want that at all. So here comes my second. I keep getting this glue everywhere. Like, what the heck? It has never been this runny like this before. What's happening? Okay. Going in with my second layer. You can use whatever to smooth it. I be seeing some people use their finger. Since I wear super long nails, I just don't think that will work for me. Especially since I always have so many charms and stuff on my nails. Like, nah, baby. This is just a makeup brush that I'm using. Next, blow dryer. <laughs> I 
I'm actually going to go in with one more layer for the sides because I noticed that, ooh, you see how it'll dry real fast? Look at that. I'm just adding a tiny bit more to the sides because I noticed my sides will be, will get the lifting first. So, just adding one more layer to the sideburn. I don't want her lifting and embarrassing me like that. And of course, it's starting to turn clear. Going back in with the L'Oreal Locket Spray. <laughs> all right y'all now when i do this part i like to look like i have a facelift i really like the cat eyes so i do this as i'm pulling it down and then of course i'm gonna use that comb for the melt yarn. Now y'all see the difference on how this looks so pulled up. See how that eye going up? Yeah. Yeah. Facelift without a facelift. You know? Face tune without face tune, sister. Okay. Go again with the dryer again. Match, baby. I feel it like <coughs> for real. Okay, let me get my pencil again so I can mark this side now so I don't overly glue the. Oh, I put so much. Of so many marks like what but i get the gist of what i meant <laughs> okay let's get that up out the way and boom and y'all if y'all put a little mark where it don't need to go it's just eyeliner so be very easy to wipe that way Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if you ever like put too much glue, like like if you put, say you marks right here, but you accidentally put some glue right here, just use some alcohol and wipe the glue off before it gets too tacky. So there's my first layer. Second layer. And you see, I don't make the layers too thick at all. I don't even place the glue all over where I'm putting it. I just spread it out to where I need it to go. Because I have made the mistake before of making my layers too heavy. And baby. Ooh, she is a melting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it look crazy right now why it's got it a little hump but y'all know chill out um I'm trying to see if I want to add another layer or not because it's already looking a little yeah we're gonna do this a little bit more not a lot at all though so that was my third layer right there And then, of course, we go in with 
the blow dryer. I'm putting the top on this boho right now, y'all, because I will be so mad if I spill it when it dry, y'all, because boho active is like 40 or 50 dollars. So guess what? Huh? my luck and spread l'oreal locky y'all need to sponsor me because everybody use boho and i'm using this l'oreal locky and i'm steady promoting y'all so like what's that what's that what's that and of course we're gonna <clears throat> frown again so we can get that facelift going that i also love Y'all, and I got that facelift trick from Arrogant Tay. <laughs> of course, use the comb to push it in. Nudge your finger, because we don't want the skin to be touching. And turn white. That's what we do not want, baby. At all. What is this one little piece right here doing? Okay, there we go. Get in there. I look like I need to cut a little piece of extra lace right here. But I'll do that in a second. Okay. So. I'm gonna take the blow dryer. Just do a quick look. It was a little extra little piece of lace I had to cut. And then I go around the perimeter one more time with the spray. Just because the spray gives that extra milk. You're gonna see the difference. Look at that. Well, it's actually already melted in a mug, but. I just go around the perimeter with the spray. I know I be saying don't use your finger, but on this part, I be using my finger a little bit. At this point, I put my edge, me edge band on for a while, for like 10 minutes. Let me get this up out the way. Move out the way. Am I ready? Where's my edge band? Oh, here we go. You see, though, it's already melted. But this going to be like the ultimate melt. Shout out to Bees Weaves. This is the best edge band, you guys. For real. This is the best edge band. So, yes. 10 minutes and then I will be back. Because y'all know I'm doing some baby hairs. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> y'all, I honestly don't know what just happened. I just filmed the whole part. And then I just looked up and it was deleted. I don't know what happened. But all I did was just pull out some hair around my perimeter, basically. Because I'm about to cut my baby hairs. Like, I didn't do nothing special. I just pulled out some hair all around my perimeter, made sure it was equal. I did pull out more hair 
like towards the bottom of the sides because I know I want to do like that heavy swoop sideburn thing. I don't know how I'm going to style my hair, but I do know that I do want that. Like I told y'all, I really don't have a method to cutting my baby hairs at all. I just cut and I cut them a little bit longer than what I think I, I'm going to want them to be. And then I just adjust like that because like I always say, once you cut, baby, you're, it's cut. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no going back at that point. But if it's too long, you can always cut. I'm not going to cut too much down here because y'all know I said I want that heavy side burn, little swoopy doop kind of bag going. I can cut a little bit more of this because this don't have to be too long. Lean on me. Okay, I think I can start swirling now. And then if I need to adjust anything. Am I going to do a sad part or what I'm going to do? I don't even know. I'm going to just do whatever feels good <laughs> in the moment when it comes to these baby hairs. And then I'll figure out the hairstyle after I get the baby hairs together, baby. Because I don't know what I want to do. I feel like I done did every hairstyle on here doing these little installs. <laughs> okay. Let's get some little swoops going here. It's so crazy, y'all. Do y'all know, like, my baby hairs is what I get asked about all the time, like... Even professional hairdressers be asking me, like, how do you do your baby hairs like that? I'll be like, what? I don't even feel like I'll be going that crazy on these. But, yeah. I don't really have a, a technique. I just kind of start and then just start swooping, like, for real. Like, I really don't know my technique, y'all. It's not really one. <laughs> it's literally just I just do it till I feel like I did it like it's my B-Day <laughs> that's what I do y'all just do it like it's my B-Day and I think I'm gonna change that other side because um, see now see my swirl on this side is a little bit too long but it's okay because I could just cut that little piece off now if it was too short and I wasn't able to do the little curl, that would have blew me. Okay. Now on this end, I'm feeling like I want to take a little bit out. And then, oh, because my swirl needs to be just as hidden on this side. You know what I'm saying? Needs to be just as fat. Like, y'all, I promise y'all, people be asking me what's the technique to my baby hairs. There's literally no technique. Some days I do hella swirls and designs and woo-woo. Some days I just do a real quick look, whatever. I don't know. It really just depends on my mood for the day kind of thing. I just start, and when I start, it just kind of just starts happening. Okay, it got cut off again, whatever. The baby hairs are done now. I have sprayed them with the L'Oreal Locket, dried it a little bit with the blow dryer. Now I'm about to put my edge band back on. I'm not sure how I'm going to style it yet, so I'm going to do my makeup. And by the time I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to know what style I'm going to do. So. Okay, y'all, so I have done my makeup now. I'm going to wet my hair. I'm going to use some water. I'm going to use a little bit of conditioner. I might use some mousse slash setting lotion as well. Don't know. But I did decide that I'm going to do like a little youthful kind of look. Like I want to look like a little, a little school girl or something. So, um... I'm going to do a style that I used to do before I cut all my hair off. Do my real hair, how I used to do it. Girl. 
Girl, you could just put something right in the door, friend. Like, that's all you have to do. It is not that. I know. That's what I'm telling you. It's, it's stuff right down there. If it's not, just don't pull it all the way closed. Like, so, yeah. Let me make sure I got it about even. That's pretty, y'all, that I was talking to. <laughs> So, I like to wet it afterwards, um, just because my part is not as dominant on this side. Let me see. There we go. Well, I, was, I didn't mean to say dominant. What I'm going to say? Prominent? Is prominent the word I'm looking for? So, I just make sure I get the parting around the same area on each side you know so it's not looking crazy but yeah so i used to do this style a lot before i cut my hair off i like to i see some people when they do the wet styles they are wet it first and then do like they little ponytail or whatever they're gonna do not me i like to work with dry hair but i've been looking in the mirror the whole time not y'all i like to work with dry hair better I don't know, with, with my fingernails, with all the decals and jewels and things I have on my nails, it is just easier for me to work with dry hair because wet hair tends to get caught on the stuff faster. So, yeah. Put my scrunchie on, pull it tight. I love colorful scrunchies too, y'all, by the way. Y'all haven't noticed, I'm extra like that. And now I'm going to just, oh, I actually like the dry, the dry look that it's giving. Like a little afro-y a little bit. I'm going to actually add some mousse to this because I do like the, the bushiness that it's giving. But I do want it to have a little bit more of a defined curl. So instead of just adding water directly on it, I'm going to just... Put some of the mousse into my hands and do it like this. Like, it's not hard to wet all of this hair or dampen all of this hair or saturate all of this hair, whatever word you want to use. It's not hard to do that because it's short. It's a bob. It's only 14 inches. So, boom. Put a little bit up here so it don't be looking all dry up here. And if you have any flyaways... Those can be taken care of as well. Ooh, yeah. Real quick, easy style. Oh, this is the final look right here, y'all. I did go ahead and add a few hair accessories, just some little hair clips up in there just to give it a little razzle-dazzle, you know what I'm saying? But y'all, I'm loving this. Every time I be finished, I know I be like, oh, I love this look. No, but for real, every time I be finished, I do be loving it. Like... I'm fine, so like I can't help it. I love all the looks, but nah, y'all for real, I really do like this. I'm glad this is the unit I decided to glue on for the weekend because I'm finna be living la vida loca all weekend because it's giving me Spanish money. Yeah, my name is Lucinda Nalucci. Mm, hey, papi. <laughs> but for real though, y'all really do like this, y'all. Um, minimal shedding. It was just a little bit of shedding. Like I always say, when it comes to water wave, deep wave, any kind of curl, there's going to be some shedding. That's just a part of the game. You know what I'm saying? That's how this goes. But it was very minimal. It was not a lot at all. It was not too much. The hair was very soft, very easy to comb through. It took the water coloring very well. As you can see, it is melted very easily. The knots were bleached very well. We'll rate this a 10 out of 10 because I will be using this wig very often, you guys. I really do love this. Like, let me step back so I can get into it. Hmm. 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 What you talking about? You. But no, you guys, you already know. The link will be in the description on how you guys can get this same exact look as me. It is, I feel, beginner friendly. It was very easy to melt the lace. It was very easy to bleach the knots. It was very easy to install. Um, I did see that this could have been a glueless. Um, if I didn't want to do, like, the extreme sideburns, I could have done this glueless. But because I'm extra, 
Of course, I had to do the most. So, <laughs> yes, but <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Do not forget to stream my album, Guard Your Grill 2, available on all streaming platforms. And do not forget to tell your people to subscribe to me, you guys. I'm trying to get the 60K and giving you have a giveaway. Give away some money. And if there's anything that I did not include in this video as far as wig installation and it's something that you want to know... Let me know, but let me take another little step back so we can get to the full vibe here. It's giving, I'm a Barbie girl, in a Barbie day. <laughs> well, for real, you guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Lucci gang, I'm out.